Off-screen Walter Brennan was the most evil man in Hollywood. Hello dear viewers, and welcome to a thought-provoking exploration of one of Hollywood's most enigmatic figures. Today we delve into the life and legacy of Walter Brennan, a three-time Academy Award-winning actor whose story is as complex as it is captivating. Off-screen, Walter Brennan was the most evil man in Hollywood. Walter Brennan's journey from humble beginnings in Massachusetts to Hollywood stardom is a tale of perseverance, talent, and controversy. Born on July 25, 1894, Brennan's early years were typical, but his passion for acting set him on a different path. His aspirations, however, were momentarily interrupted by World War I, where he served in France and suffered injuries that permanently altered his voice. Returning to the United States, Brennan's path led him to Hollywood, where he initially struggled but eventually found success in the film industry. His breakthrough came with his role in Come and Get It in 1936, earning him his first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. This triumph was followed by two more Oscars for his roles in Kentucky, 1938, and The Westerner, 1940, solidifying his place in Hollywood history. Despite his on-screen success, off-screen, Brennan's life was marked by controversy. He was known for his outspoken political views, particularly his affiliation with the John Birch Society and his staunch opposition to the civil rights movement. These beliefs clashed with the progressive currents of the time, leading to debates about the intersection of his personal convictions and his cinematic achievements. As Brennan's career progressed, so did his paranoia, particularly during the era of McCarthyism and Cold War paranoia. He took extreme measures to prepare for a perceived communist invasion, constructing a bunker and engaging in survival training. In retirement, Brennan retreated from the spotlight, spending his final years in Ventura County. Despite his contributions to cinema, his legacy remains complex, with his off-screen beliefs often overshadowing his on-screen achievements. In conclusion, Walter Brennan's story serves as a reminder of the intricate nature of Hollywood's history and the complexities of its iconic figures. As we reflect on his life and legacy, we are prompted to examine the intersection of art, politics, and personal beliefs, navigating the nuanced terrain of his enduring impact on both cinema and society. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Walter Brennan's life. Until next time, farewell.